Excuse the way I'm dressed. Everything's in the wash. Wish I could say the same of Spindle Shanks. His website's a disgrace. He's such a pig pen. He don't even know what this is for. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? Three flies says you don't. <laughs> Last. I hate it when I lose. Oh. <laughs> this tale's called Bessie O Messi. When Bessie O Messi undressed, she dropped her clothes on the floor and forgot all about them. Her laundry mountain hadn't been touched for three years because when her mother told her to tidy it up, Bessie said, No! How will I ever find what I want if it's all stuffed in cupboards? To make matters worse, Bessie's younger brother, Callum, was the model of tidiness. He said things like, Can I help with the washing up now, Mammy? And, are you sure I can't scrub out the bath? Bessie loathed Callum for making her look like a slovenly slob. I hate you, Callum. You're just a goody-goody. Oh, that reminds me. I was hoping to do a bit of dusting after breakfast. Will you let me do your room, Bessie? I could tidy your clothes. That's why I hate you. You're always with a duster in your hand. Do you want to wash that jumper now? One day, Bessie's mess mountain finally filled her bedroom. What's happened in here? Bessie has. She's a pig, isn't she, Mammy? Yes, she is. Bessie, wake up. But Bessie couldn't see a thing through the laundry wall. You's in big trouble, Miss Piggy. What for? She asked innocently. Bessie, you will clear this room up immediately. Oh, oh, please. Yes, please. Can I help? No, it's Bessie's mess. She'll manage on her own. Will you give us a hand to get down, Callum? No, he's not allowed to help, remember? Bessie was furious. It was her life. She could live like a pig if she wanted. But as she tried to go back to bed, the mountain collapsed, and Bessie fell. She found herself inside a cotton cave. Whoa! Who's you? Top of the morning to you, Missy. Where am I? In the lovely land of laundry. Allow me to introduce ourselves. O'Reilly. O'Reilly, 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 and Rafferty. But we call him O'Reilly to avoid the confusion. I'm Bessie, said Bessie. And we's leprechauns, said O'Reilly. The little people. Sure you must have heard of us. Sure I have. But what are you doing in me laundry? Well, we'll let you in on a little secret. We likes a bit of mess. In fact, we likes a lot of mess. And when I saw your pile of dirty clothes, I said to O'Reilly here, That's me. Yeah, that's him, that's right. I said to O'Reilly, We can live inside Bessie O'Messie's pile of linen, making as much mess as we like, and nobody will ever notice. And that's what we done. What was your name again, young man? I beg your pardon. Ah, don't mind him. Leprechauns has memories worse than the... Uh... Shall we be after going then? Aye. Where to? I forget, but I'm sure to remember when we get there. You've forgotten your horses? Oh, never mind. The cave opened out onto a spectacularly messy landscape. At the end of the crooked path stood the leprechaun's ramshackle house. You've got yourself a beautiful home there, Mr O'Reilly. You should see our beautiful kitchen. In the house, 
In the house, in the garden, there are bits of it in the bedrooms too, but we lost the sink. Well, I think it's heaven. There's nobody to tell you to clear your mess up. Shall we go inside? Oh, dear. Never liked it anyway. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful, boys. This is Bessie Bliss. Your land of laundry is paradise. So will you be after staying a while? Said O'Reilly. Does you really mean that? I could stay here for the rest of my life. Then it's all settled. Use one of us now. Back in Bessie's bedroom, Callum came a-creeping. Bessie, are you there? Right, now where shall I be starting? I beg your pardon? Did we not make it clear what we brought you here for? You did not. Did we not tell you we wanted a housekeeper? If you's had, I'd never a come. But we shook on it, it's a deal. I don't want to clean your smelly house. To be sure, but we need someone to tidy us up. Not me. I don't do cleaning. Are you saying yous won't do it then? Are yous breaking your word? Did we tell you we was meat eaters? And likes to chew flesh off the bone? We want a housekeeper. Is it gonna be you, like we agreed, or not? Yes or no? Bessie was terrified. No! She screamed, pushing the little people aside and running out of the house. She could hear them running after her. Nobody crosses the O'Reilly's and lives. You'll never make it back to your bedroom, Missy. Bessie reached the linen mountain, but couldn't remember which way to go. Wait till we get her fingers on you. At last, she recognised her jumper and dived into the cave. But the leprechauns were smaller and faster and didn't give up till they pinned her down. Help! Suddenly, the land of laundry shuddered. Clothes crashed past Bessie's ears like falling rocks. All you had to do was a little tidying up. Now we can't let you go, Bessie. The big people mustn't know he's here. But I won't tell them. We know that. Cos we's gonna cook you. And they would have done too, had not the land of laundry suddenly turned topsy-turvy and flooded. Callum only noticed that he'd washed Bessie while he was doing the ironing. She'd shrunk in the wash. And all my colours have run. I must have had the water too hot. Still, I suppose you did save my life. And then your washing is taking me hours, and I haven't even started on the dusting yet. I'll give you a hand. Honest, no messing, said Bessie. And she meant it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, the cheek of it. Spindleshanks expects me to clear up after him. I suppose I'd better get the iron out. <laughs> 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 